what is up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nikki if you're new this is life with nick welcome if you are returning welcome back and in today's video i'm doing like a part 10 i've did so many of these reviews and so many of these listings i'm here with another affordable apartment list and today i'm talking about douglasville georgia i actually had a few of my subscribers comment on some of my videos asking if i can do one of these videos so here we are and here i am doing this for you guys today but before we get into that list if you guys have not already done so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I post and let's go ahead and get right into the video. So as I mentioned today we are talking about Douglasville, Georgia. Douglasville, Georgia isn't one of the pop most popular cities um, in the outskirts of Atlanta but it is a place that a lot of people usually migrate towards when they are moving to Georgia. I fairly like um, Douglasville. I like it. Um, I have a friend who actually lives in Douglasville. So it's a place that I would recommend and it is known to be extremely affordable. So all the apartments that I'm listing today are going to be $1,300 and under. Most of them are under well under $1,300 but that is the highest one that we're going to talk about today so number one out of the six on the list and i will leave these all in my description box i do have six different videos i'm going to talk about today and going into it which is number one we're going to talk about mill creek place so mill creek place is an apartment complex located in douglasville and it is extremely affordable and they're actually known for being a housing program so a housing program usually offers the tenants different programs such as low income so if there is one person living in a household the requirement is usually like 34 Four thousand. If it's two, it's like fifty thousand. So if you fall anywhere in that income ratio, then you basically will be qualified to live at Mill Creek Place. So right now, they are actually going for one thousand forty three and up for a two bedroom apartment. So if you look on their website, you'll see that the two bedroom is a lot less than the one bedroom actually is. So if you fall anywhere in that category and you are low income or whatever, and you unfortunately aren't making that much, then this is something that you should check out because like I said, it does offer that um, affordable housing program. Two, and I feel like two bedrooms, $1,043, not bad at all. And then I also looked at the Google reviews, which actually wasn't that bad. So if you guys are interested in that, check that out. Um, like I said, two bedrooms for $1,043. It's pet friendly. Um, there's two outdoor parks, grilling area, sparkling swimming pool, and um, it is newly renovated. So it does have those updated appliances and some of the complexes that they offer. So go ahead and check that out, Mill Creek Place. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who do need this um, to use and take advantage of this housing program just because it's hard out here for a pimp nowadays you know what i mean a lot of these jobs are not paying people well enough to um, be able to afford the cost of living so having that housing program at mill creek place seems like it would be something that would come in handy so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and click the link in my description box and where it says mill creek place so number two on the list which is going to be lakeside at arbor place lakeside or arbor place is a little bit more higher up just because they do not offer the housing program but they are still in an affordable range so lakeside at arbor place is going for one thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and up a month and that is for a one bedroom apartment but I did notice that they do come with a lot of different things. So it comes with a sports court. So for basketball and tennis, package room, um, it has an outdoor kitchen, a dark park and a pool. This one, the Lakeside at Arbor Place, this one out of all the ones that I'm going to list has like all the amenities. I was like looking like, wow, this amenities are like lit. They have a dog park, outdoor kitchen and the outdoor kitchen is nice. Like there's different, like those big grills, they have those. And the amenities at this place just looks really nice for only $12.93 a month. It's kind of hard to find sometimes if it is in that price range, you will find that the amenities aren't as nice. But here at Lakeside at Arbor Place, the amenities are great and it is going for $12.93 and up a month for a one bare room apartment. So if you guys are interested in getting all those cool amenities, dog park, look where I live doesn't even have a dog park, a dog park, outdoor kitchen, all those great things, go ahead and check out Lakeside at Arbor Place for your new apartment. So number three on the list is going to be Brookview Apartments. So Brookview Apartments is actually going for $1,070 a month, which is the second cheapest on this list. But this is actually for a one bedroom. So $1,070 for a one bedroom. Um, what I noticed at the amenities is that they um, offer the residents free coffee every day, which is convenient if you're on your way to work. Go ahead and grab that free coffee. They have two playgrounds, so not one. They have two different playgrounds picnic area and then they also offer 24 hour emergency maintenance so if you uh, get home late at 3 a.m and your kitchen sink isn't working go ahead and call maintenance or if your refrigerator is off go ahead and call maintenance because they do offer that 24 hour emergency assistance so 
go ahead and check that out brookview apartments one thousand seventy dollars um, for a one bedroom free coffee 24 hour emergency maintenance really great things that a lot of apartments nowadays don't offer so number four on the list we are halfway through number four on the list we have stewart mill apartments so if you guys see me looking now like i always say i'm just looking at my papers just bear with me so stewart mill apartments right now is going for 1125 and up for a one bedroom so around the same price range as the lakeside and arbor place stewart mills apartments is going for 1125 though and this is for a one bedroom and then one thing i noticed about them that i don't that i don't have in my apartment either is they actually have a 24 hour gym that is actually 24 hours a lot of uh, complexes that you come across here in georgia which is so silly to me the um gym hours is like the same hours as the leasing office which is like monday through friday nine to five which is when most people work so it's kind of funny to me but this one offers 24 hour gym play park resort style swimming pool and amazon hub locker so if you don't want your amazon packages to be stolen steward mill apartments would be the great the, be a great place for you like i said it's 11 25 and up for a one bedroom which is not too bad for Georgia. A lot of apartments are charging way more than that right now. So number five, which is going to be the second from last apartment on the list, is going to be Carrington Points. So Carrington Point is actually the most expensive one that I'm going to mention in today's video. Carrington Point is actually going for $13.02 and up a month for a one bedroom. But that is because they actually offer a tennis court, a swimming pool, a car care center a gym in a park let me tell you what a car care center is if you guys have not watched my other videos a car care center is like you're able to actually like wash your car and vacuum out your car in your complex so if you admire your car you want to make sure that your car is clean i feel like that's something that is just so convenient you barely see those at complexes down here but I feel like that's so convenient. You know, you can always just go in the middle of the day like, hey, I need a car wash. Or even wash your car like multiple times a month just because. You know what I mean? Like, that just seems like it's really convenient. So, that a lot of those amenities add on to the price for Carrington Point. That's why it is $13.02 a month. So, if you guys are interested in that car care center, which is number one on the list for me, that gym, that park, that pool, all those great amenities for $13.02 a month, go ahead and check out Carrington Park. So, lastly on the list, we have Place at Midway Apartments. So, Place at Midway Apartments is kind of in the middle of the price range of what I mentioned in the other apartments. And this one is actually going to be $12.15 a month. So, Place at Midway Apartments, $12.15 a month for a one-bedroom apartment. The great thing about this is I noticed that they have a jogging trail, um, a clothes care center. So that's like if you need your clothes washed, like a like a laundromat, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. And then the fitness center and a play park. So a jogging trail, I feel like that is another great amenity. And that's why it may be a little bit more expensive than the other ones that I mentioned. Those amenities is something to remember is that those amenities will kind of have a play in what your actual rent is. So make sure to always remember that. But I, like I always do, will go through each apartment um, that I mentioned in today's video on the list. So first we have Mill Creek Place Apartments, which is going for $1,043 a month for a two-bedroom. So number two on this list is going to be Lakeside at Arbor Place. And this one is going to be going for $1,293 a month for a one-bedroom. Brookview Apartments, which is going to be going for $1,070 a month for a one-bedroom. Steward Mills Apartments, which is going to be going for $11.25 a month for a one bedroom. Number five is going to be Carrington Point, which is going to is going for $13.02 a month for a one bedroom. And then last but not least, we have Place at Midway Apartments, which is going for $12.15 a month for a one bedroom. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. Like I said, all the apartments that I mentioned in today's video are $1,300 and less, which is a complete eye catcher. So hopefully I help someone out there, especially my Douglasville subscriber. I hope that you guys seen this video so that you guys can look into these apartments. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please comment below some other cities that you guys may be interested in that you would like to see me tour or even talk about and maybe make a list for or anything like that. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, if you guys have not already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you're notified when I post. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.